roster, so they have to be DLC because they put it on. And so Smash Brothers can't really have any more character. Like I don't, I'm not really sure. Will they have more third-party characters? I don't, I don't know. I don't really think so. Wait, hold on. Did I stop? Oh, okay. We're on the next video. All right. So, hello everyone, and welcome back to part six of Mario Kart. We're on the Banana Cup. I can't believe I just said that. The Banana Cup. I'm gonna play with Peach. Cause, just, just, just cause, just cause. Let's just go with that. Just cause. So I rather use the the Bitty Buggy or the Sneaker. Actually, I'm gonna use the Sneaker. For because the bitty buggy will be used for a very special character, and um, this this does not look good at all with it. How about a bun? How about how about something girly for Peach? There we go, that looks good. And then we have to use her power cell. So I'm gonna play the banana banana cup, whatever banana banana. It doesn't matter. Um, let's go back to my conversation I was talking about before. Oh yeah. So for question of the video, it's gonna be something like. Um, oh yeah, I know it should be. Um, are you excited for Smash Bros? Have you tried it out? What do you think of it? And, and, uh, yeah. Like, how do you think of Smash Bros? Do you like it? Can't you wait for the Wii U version? Are you gonna get 3DS and or Wii U for Smash Bros? And also, what characters would you like to see in the Smash, in Smash Bros as, like, a DLC or something? So, so let's talk about Smash Bros. So, I really cannot wait for Smash Bros. To come out on the Wii U, because the graphics are gonna look great. So far on the 3DS, it was um, it's an amazing game. So if I'm very impressed with Smash Bros on the 3DS, I know I'm gonna be even more impressed how it will turn on the Wii U, especially the Amazon leak, talking about like Smash Bros having a creator mode and stuff like that. That'd be really cool, and it, it sounds really awesome. I I hope it's better than the than Brawl because. Cause it, it, cause I didn't really like the brawl creator, cause it, it, the the level layout was so bland. It, it looked like you were in a factory, and then that or something like that, and that was it. That's all there was to it. Actually, wait, there were different backgrounds. What am I talking? About? I haven't played, I haven't made a level or, or creator in brawl, and I haven't played that game in so long. Hey, get out of my way, spiny shell. Take the power of my mega horn. You know, I would like to see that in the game in Smash Bros. I'm, the mega horn as an item. I would like to see that. That would be really cool. And also, what about the cat power up? That'd be kind of cool. So you can probably climb walls with it and attack them and have like more powerful attack or something like that. Because they added the Tanuki Leaf, they should add the the cat power up on the Wii U version. That'd be really cool. Also, um, what else? For Smash Bros, I'm not really sure what characters I would like to see. Oh, I know what I would like to see. I would like to see more characters. I would like to see. Um, Pac-Man have a an alternate skin of Mrs. Pac-Man. That would be pretty cool. I would like to see Mega Man and Mega Man. They should add like Proto Man or Base or whatever. I mean, I'm not a big Mega Man fan, but I know that those are two characters that like real that are kind of like main in the Mega Man series. That'd be pretty cool. They should add a Robot Master. It'd be better if they add they if they add Proto Man or Base, because the Robot Master would just have one special power up and that's it. Or if they were to add a, um, a Mega Man, um, what's it called, a prom, uh, what was it called, a Robot Master, then they have to add a robot, a very powerful Robot Master, and one that Mega Man does not use his or her power, because I think there is a female Mega Man Robot Master, but I would like to see, like, Proto Man or Base in the game, that'd be pretty cool, and it does that'd be pretty cool if Nintendo gave more characters of the franchise because that really annoyed me and that does annoy me that they have all these characters but they're all like from different series they should have like a couple characters from a special series that'd be really cool and and, and you want to know what to, who's a really good character little mac he is such an uh, he's such a great character i was pl i played with him before on the 3ds version he is so good he is really fast he's very powerful his only his only downside is that he doesn't have a, his recovery is not that good, and his air attacks are just poop because on the ground he is a beast. And you and you want to know so OP that that meter he has where he just instantly KO someone that's so overpowered. I mean, 
I mean, like, Nintendo, why'd you have to make Little Mac so OP? He's so powerful on the ground, he's like a beast on the ground. In the air, he sucks and all, but why do you have to make him have a freaking a meter that can instantly kill anyone? I mean, the meter is not that overpowered because all you gotta do is just attack enemies and make them deal, make them deal a bunch of percent um, damage, and that will build up the meter, or you take a lot of damage, and they'll get built, and then the meter will still build up. But still, they should have, um, they shouldn't have added that, because it's so overpowered. And I mean, it, I know it does go away after a while, but still, like, if, if you get caught in that, even at 0% damage, you get, like, 90% damage or something from that. And he, it's an instant KO. Instant. Which is so crazy. So crazy. So, anyway, about Mario Kart, would you guys like to see me do, like, online match matches with any of my friends or, or whatever? I think that would be really cool. And also, um, I may be able to get a, a 3DS, I got, cause the, the screen recorder I'm using for my a Wii U and X, the Xbox, whatever, I can probably, I have to get like a wire or a plug or whatever, and I can probably record footage on, on the 3DS. I originally did get a wire or a plug, whatever you want to call it, for my phone, record games on it, but you know, I thought that's not really a good idea, because a lot of games on it are kind of boring, and I didn't really want to do that. I'd rather record on the 3DS, and look at my... Look at Peach's hair, if you can look, it's like a blackish gold color, it looks, that looks really cool, actually. And, what else, what else, what else, what else? So, I think Mario Kart is a great game. And, oh yeah, speaking of Smash Bros, I like how in Smash Bros, they, they, um, what's it called, they put a lot of emphasis on making each game like 3DS and Wii U um, its own game because they want to make it similar with the, the exact character roster and similar gameplay mechanics and how it works is very similar. But they but they still made it so that on the 3D on the Wii, the 3DS is gonna be um, so different from the Wii U and have exclusives, which is really awesome. I like how they did that because it's because then it's gonna feel like 3DS version is just. A, a smaller on the go and and uh, graphically uh, lower or cheaper or whatever than the Wii U version. That's what it would feel like. But you don't want that. You want to feel like two different games, which would be really cool. And also, I heard some. Uh, I read. I was reading some comments of a Smash Bros. video, and someone was saying something like, "Oh, why can't Smash Bros. have like why can't you convert con convert your data or whatever from 3DS to?" Wii U because it will be no fun. I don't want to unlock the entire character roster at the beginning of the game, even if I com completed the 3DS version or whatever. I had to add the video because my I thought my voice was kind of too low. Why, why did I do that? It's so stupid. I did something. I had to cut out the audio or whatever. Okay, so, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, so, from um, last episode, I was talking about, you know, uh, for my channel, should I, should I just finish some series, or should I start new ones? And I'm recording this right after I made that video, by the way. But, what I'm thinking is, like, what should I do after I complete some games? So, for Mario Kart 8, I'm not sure if I'll ever finish it. Why I'm saying that is because, because for Mario Kart, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play through the... All, I'm gonna play through the entire cups with different characters, different card combinations, through 50 CC, 100 CC, 150 CC, and the mirror mode. And then I'm gonna play online mode. And then I'm also gonna review some of the DLCs and whatnot. And I think that'll take a while to come. I have no idea why I let go of that banana, but yes, I made it. So um, that that'll take a while to do. And um, Mario, and I can't really like decide what I'll, what I'll do after that. But for the for the Mario Bros. U Mario Bros. U game. I'm gonna have to finish that also and when I do after that I think I should play Super Mario no I should play Luigi U and then and then while I'm playing Luigi U I also can play Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U yeah that'll be a good idea a good idea what else, what else do I have Sonic Generations when I finally finish that game I'll play uh, what's it called I can play Mario no not Mario a Sonic game I'll play Sonic Lost World on the Wii U Wow, a lot of games on the Wii U. I also have Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, so I'm gonna play the game, I'm gonna finish the game, and I'm playing on it right now, and I'm doing a good job. I'm, I'm not very far into the game, actually. 
and and then when I finish that game, I'll record footage for that for that. So that'd be a good idea. And what else? What else? And and I'm not, I'm not gonna get Hyrule Warriors. It looks like a cool game and all, but I'm really excited to see what the Zelda 2015 game has to bring. The trail looks really cool. It looks all cell shaded, kind of like. Wait, is it cell shaded? Is that the word? I'm not sure because there's like two different graphic. Because like there's three different graphic qualities. There's something like this where it's all realistic, looking all nice. There's something like Borderlands with the outline and and, and looks kind of cartoony, but with the outline kind of it looks really cool. And it's also the like the, the Wind Waker look, and and one of them is called Cell Shaded. I I think I think the Wind Waker game is is called Cell Cell Shaded, and, and and like how that looks is like there is like all the like for all the textures and whatever. It's like very it's like only like a couple of main colors. They don't have different sh um uh, shades of the color. Like they don't have like a bright yellow, a regular yellow, and a dark yellow. They have like just sh they have like the shadow yellow and then regular yellow and that's it that makes the game look beautiful and gorgeous and i think that's called shell shade i'm not sure unless cell shade is the outline but doesn't matter but i would like but the, the zelda 2015 game re looks like wind waker graphics with the cell shade I, I would think it's called and it looks really cool so that that'd be really awesome if they did do that and i'm going on to the next race so what else? There's other playthroughs. Oh yeah, I made the Trials game, and what I'm gonna do for that is I'll do Trials Evolution, then I'll do Trials Fusion, and then I'll do the first Trials game. So that'll be that'll be easy. There's also another game I want to play, which I still need to buy on the Xbox, and I'm not gonna buy it soon because I really need to finish like a lot of these playthroughs and stuff first. I think I should finish a lot of Wii U games and like slowly work my way in finishing all of them. And I can also do other things like let's say I can do like a video game review or I review a video game or whatever. If you guys would like to see that, that'd be a pretty cool idea if you'd like to see that. And I could do like theory videos or something where I have a theory on something. I think that'd be a good idea. And also I can play games on the computer, but I don't really want to do a lot of that because I need to get because I need to find a a, sc a screen record a screen recorder thing that is on the computer that automatically records audio because the one I'm using right now it may be free and I even bought it but it does not automatically record audio like the like the recorder I'm using for this so I may have to revert to just using the the recorder I'm using for my Xbox and Wii U and use that for the computer which would be kind of annoying because I would like to use it upstairs in my house I don't want to play in my gaming room where I'm sitting on the couch playing on the game I want to sit down in a comfortable chair and I don't want to put the computer on my lap. It's really annoying because it's like it gets hot on my legs, and then I feel kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> it sounds so weird, but it is though. And uh, yeah, so we're playing through Mario Kart 8, as you may know. We're playing through the Donkey Kong. I forgot what this course is called, but it's from the 3DS version, if you recall it, which is pretty cool. And and I really like, like I, I like Mario Kart. I think it's a, uh, and also I'm not sure if Mario Kart is a must-get game. I think it's a good game, and if you if if you want like a casual kind of play with racing, then this game is for you. If you want an intense fighting game that's really fun, that looks beautiful, get the Wii U version. <laughs> Just get it. Oh, and by the way, um, I kind of realized that there is about. At least six controller options to play for Smash Brothers Wii U. Six controller options, at least. Isn't that crazy? So let me tell you all of them. So we have the Wii U gamepad, the Wii remote, the Wii remote with nunchuck, the GameCube controller, the Wii. U, the, oh man, I got hit. The Wii U uh, Pro controller, the um, the classic controller. I think you can use that. Can you use it? Yeah, the classic controller, the 3DS. You can use your own 3DS to play this game. Which is really cool because, because um, I, I don't like playing Smash Bros with a Wii remote, and some people don't want to get the GameCube adapter thing, the GameCube uh, extension. I'm actually, I think I can get it w when you pre-order the game. So that's, that's really cool. And 
and that's so that's just really awesome. I, I I really like the idea of being able to use your 3DS as a controller. But you, but you want to know what's so crazy though? Like you know how when you pre-order games, you you get like exclusive content to pre-ordering them. Well, I pre-ordered Smash Bros. 3DS. I got Jack. I literally got nothing for pre-ordering it. I just got it. You know, I can pick it up the day as soon as it came out, just like everyone else could. And that's it. That that's it. I got nothing out of it. Nothing. I just so stupid. I wanted to get exclusive content. I hope I get like, exclusive content or whatever for for Smash Bros. Wii U. Like I better be able to get something like the the new uh what's it called the Wii U. Um, the GameCube control thing for free. That'd be awesome. I can get that for free just by pre-ordering the freaking game. That'd be great. Oh, banana cup. Ugh. I'm stretching because. Just cause, oh, Donkey Kong, you little punk, you were the one who threw that red shell on me. And that looks so weird, it looked like I just hit the ground and I instantly teleported back to the top of the ramp. And of course I got electrocuted. Look at Peach go, she's just driving that straight line. The, the, three times they showed me on the ramp. Three times! Why? That's, it's, 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 no, I do not want to post a me first. So, you know, Smash Bros. is is just gonna be awesome. I cannot wait for it. <sighs> All right. Now, I will see you guys in another episode of Mario Kart. <sighs> I've been talking a lot lately. See you guys next time.